Hi, this is Kylie Koo. Welcome to my studio. This is Wild Positivity. So I started today by looking at my previous page of healing. This page had meant so much to me and I felt re-energised by it. But since then, things have changed a bit. But I wanted to start there and I wanted to start by pulling a number of cards from my positivity deck. Brave, Intention, Self-Care, Sanctuary, Balance, Freedom, Seasons, Love, Challenge, and hope. All of these cards meant something to me for this month's word of courage and perhaps reflect how I've been feeling these, these past few weeks and things that I've been dealing with these past few weeks. For today was the first day that I actually sat and did any art for, I don't know, around two and a half weeks. Not necessarily through choice, but just the way things have worked out. So I'll put the rest of this, or most of the rest of it, on double speed because I did take quite a time with this page. So I'm showing you here some colours that I'm going to use. I felt very drawn to these colours today. I did not know what I was going to create. I just thought I want to sit and create something intuitively. It felt such a long time since I'd created and, you know, in the big picture, in the big scheme of things, Two and a half weeks isn't a long time, but that's a, a very long time for me not to, to sit and create. So this month's word, courage, means a lot to me. Uh, things happened earlier in the month, things that were not totally unexpected, but kind of came about maybe a little bit quicker than expected. And really, just after I made my previous video, the one just immediately before this, I had to take off for a little while and I had to take off pretty quickly, I didn't even have a chance to take any art materials with me. So that's the reason that this video is later in the month than it should have been. So I started by just taking an oil pastel just to make some marks on the paper. Then I decided I had a few pieces of collage, I just decided to stick them down. I didn't have anything planned at all, this was just me trying to, to break the blank page in a sense. Just working intuitively and just seeing where each piece would lead me to. So courage, I'd drawn all those cards from my positivity deck just to kind of get a feel for, I suppose, where I wanted to draw positivity from in the shape of each of those cards and again just kind of how I was feeling at this point in time. And thinking about courage, it struck me that, you know, sometimes courage is something that we think about being brave and I think it generally is, but we sometimes think of courage as being this great big action or whatever. But in fact, it can be something very simple or something that might seem simple to some of us, but very difficult for others. You know, for some people, just getting up in the morning takes courage. Just doing everyday things can take courage. It's not necessarily about big heroic actions. It's about just living day to day. And I think that's an important part of authentic self. That thing that I feel that, that I'm looking for. And I guess over the past couple of weeks in terms of things that have been going on in my life, I've realised that courage is about the everyday. Uh, it's about being there for others. But it's also about being there for self. And I was at the point where I needed to have the courage for self today. I could have come up with a hundred reasons for not showing up and doing this page today. I think the fact that I hadn't been creating, I just felt not alienated from it, but 
it was almost, well, what does it matter if I leave it yet another day? And yet I wanted so badly to sit down and do something. So for me, courage today was simply about showing up to the page, about not knowing what I was going to create, not knowing where this was going to take me, not knowing if it was simply going to be a hot mess. But the courage was simply knowing that I needed to do this for myself. So if you're following along, I would invite you to think about what courage means to you. As always, there's so much more I could say on this, but, you know, those are just my thoughts, my opinions. And I guess, to a certain extent, I just want the art to reflect where I was at. So, as I say, didn't quite know what I was going to create, but I suppose that yellow oil pastel I'd used underneath led me on to creating this yellow ball that I then use the orange on and I then use the reds on, which, you know, actually turns out to be a sun. And I suppose to a certain extent, maybe influenced a bit, inspired a bit by the fact that the summer solstice, midsummer, was just a few days ago. And there's something about that time that's kind of magical, you know, it's a good feeling, it's it's symbolic in terms of the seasons, of course, and of course one of the cards from my positivity deck that I'd pulled out was in fact the seasons. And I guess, you know, thinking about some of those individual cards, some of what's going through my mind is the seasons of life and how each stage along the way can take courage. So I play about with the sun for a long time. There was something today just about the brush movements, just about that flow, the circles round and round, going anti-clockwise and clockwise, just each way and just blending those colours into each other. So I'll leave you for a moment and then I'll come back at the next significant change in the picture.
So this scene was developing. I was starting to paint in mountains of some description and I realised that this is a scene or a variation of a scene that I have drawn time and time again. Probably since, at least since I was a teenager, maybe even before that. Just a scene that just always comes. And I guess, in a sense, in some ways, this is linked to the sanctuary card that I showed, that it's a sanctuary in terms of painting, it's a sanctuary in my mind and in my heart. And so I just keep painting away at this. I'm not really thinking too much about what I'm doing. I'm mi mixing the paints on the page sometimes. Just trying to get that kind of dark outline of those mountains, almost in silhouette, but not quite, because I wanted it to, or it wasn't so much I wanted it to, but it was kind of picking up the brightness of the sun. And you see here the texture from the papers underneath, from some of the glue that had been on the page, and indeed from the paint itself. And all the way along, you see me touching it. I do that a lot with my work, sometimes when it's wet and I get paint over myself, but there's something just about feeling what's going on in the painting for me. And here I'm just taking some black and just outlining the edge of those mountains. Now, what I liked about using the uh, oil pastel underneath is that, and you'll see it where the yellow is, that it acts almost as a resist. So even with the black, there were places where it wasn't going on thick, that it was dispersing slightly. And I liked that kind of feel of it not being a, a, an absolutely hard, solid line. And as always with anything that I'm doing within positivity, I'm trying to enjoy each and every stroke, whether it's a small stroke or whether it's, you know, those big bold strokes with creating the sun. Really just trying to enjoy each and every moment of what I'm doing. So I then felt the need to pull out some greens. I don't use every single colour and medium that I've pulled out. It was just the things that I felt kind of drawn to. And what I do next is to start to put in some plant life. That suddenly felt very important and felt the way to go. So again, I'll leave you for a few moments while I do that.
So once I got to this stage, I started to feel like the painting needed some more detail. This wasn't any sort of realistic scene that I was trying to, to create. Mm -hmm. And I think as the painting went on, I realised that there was a lot of symbolism in it, sort of personal symbolism, things that meant things to me, things that sometimes appear in a lot of my work. So, you know, those symbols start to mean something. And I start to do a little bit of work here on the sun, just with white paint. And you'll see that it evolves into, it's like rays of the sun, but it's also like a very simple mandala. But just making these marks just felt good. It felt like the direction this needed to go in, the direction I needed to go in. And later on, I'll take a white pen and we'll add in more marks. I like the boldness of the white paint here, but later I wanted a, a finer ray to be coming out. And then I'll also go on to add details in white to the outer edge of the mountains and also to the leaves and the stems of the leaves.
So I had added in some little what might be pebbles or rocks as well and then I did a bit more detailing on the leaves. At this point it started to feel near complete so I decided to write in the word courage. Now I can't say that the page definitely is complete. It felt, at the very end I felt it maybe needed something more but I didn't know what so at that point I decided really just to leave it. But as I say, for me today courage was simply about showing up to the page and about making this video. So I very much hope that you've enjoyed this. I hope to see you again soon. I will need to be away from home for a bit in the not too distant. So if I'm not here, please know that I'm thinking of you all and I'll be back to create as soon as I can. I hope to have some more videos in the next week or so. But after that, I may be away for a little while. But thanks so much for watching. Bye for now. Thank mm -hmm. you.